Okay, let's do a quick visual condition report. All right, looking at the driver's seat, we do have a little imperfection right there, a little scratch. The bolster looks really good here. And we have some wear here, but I'm not seeing any rips or tears. The steering wheel looks really nice. A couple scuffs here on the bottom of the trim. A few scuffs on the edge there. It might be hard to see, but there's a few small dings right there on that trim. Kick plate looks really nice. Door panel looks really good. All right, and as for interior, we have a couple little scuffs and scratches here, a little bit of wear. This side looks really nice. We have some stuff kind of stuck here on the surface. So you can see those imperfections. That trim looks good. The top of the dash looks nice. Kick plate is really clean. The door panel looks really good. Okay, starting with the front end. Here on the lower side, you can see the splitter has a little bit of rash here on the edge. A little more here on the front side. And a little bit right here, as well as on that corner. Now, of course, you're going to have your typical rock chips and road debris here. You have some kind of bug impressions here in the paint that kind of edged in throughout the front. Now, this is a wrap on top of the hood, but you do have a couple little scuffs in the wrap. And if you get it in the sun here, you have a couple scratches here as well. Fender looks really nice so far. I'm not seeing any really rock chips or scratches there. I'm not seeing any curb rash on the wheels. I have one little rock chip right there. Got a little rock chip right there. seeing any curb rash on those wheels. You see there's a lot of tread left. The NT555 G2s. And you got a wrap here as well as on top of the hood. There's a couple little scuffs and scratches throughout that wrap. And then here on the top side, we do have a chip here that has been touched up. And then of course this is a wrap. You can see a couple little scuffs and scratches throughout. Flip the car around and get it on this side so we can see it in the sun. And a little scratch right here with some paint transfer. A few more rock chips throughout. A little rock chip right here. And then looking at this wheel on the very edge, we have a few pieces of paint missing in there. I don't think it's curb rash, probably just from mounting the tires. That wheel looks good as well. Nothing's really standing out to me on this side of the car. Got a small scratch right here and a couple little scuffs on the top side. We do have a 
of scratch right here. And just a couple little scuffs on the edge of the spoiler right there. If you have any other questions, give us a shout at Exotic Motorsports of Oklahoma, and I'll put the link down in the description. Thanks, guys, and have a good one.